Hey what's up everyone welcome back to the channel my name is Divit and in today's video I'll be giving you a complete step-by-step -step guide on how to set up Google Ads conversion tracking using Google Tag Manager. This is a complete beginner friendly tutorial and by the end of this video you'll have a very good understanding on how to track Google Ad conversion events such as product purchases, form submissions, page views and a lot more. So if this interests you then stick around, subscribe and let's get into today's video. Now to get things started, the first thing we need to do is log into our Google Ads Manager account. Once we're in our Ads Manager account, go to your left where it says Goals, go to Conversions, and then select the Summary sub-tab. Once you're in your Summary sub-tab over here, we can go ahead and select this Create Conversion Action option, which will take us to this page over here where we can go ahead and tell Google what conversions we want to measure. So for this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and measure conversions on our website, so go ahead and select that. And once we do that, the next thing we need to go ahead and do is make sure that our Google tag is properly installed. To do this, you can press the edit option over here, put in your website URL, press scan, and then right here it just confirms that your Google tag is correctly installed on your website so that we can then proceed to create our conversion tracking. So just go ahead and make sure that's completed on your end. And once that's done, go ahead and press the continue option, which will take us to this page where it says, what do you want to measure? And then Google Ads is providing us some recommended conversion categories. So it's saying we can go ahead and track purchases, signups, subscriptions, lead form submissions, so on and so forth. Now for this particular tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to set up conversion tracking for lead form submissions. But don't be too concerned about the category I've picked. The same exact steps apply for purchases, signups, so on and so forth. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and choose submit lead form. And I'll show you what this looks like on my website. So basically, I have this test form I've created at the very end. It's a very basic form where somebody can put in their email, press the send option. And then once they do that, they will successfully be directed to this page, which is basically like a test thank you page I've created. So I want to basically track anytime somebody comes onto this page after they submit that form. To do that, we can go back to our Google Ads account, go to submit lead form right here in my case, press the setup option. Over here, Google is asking us, do you want to set this up codeless or manually? We're going to go ahead and do this manually using Google Tag Manager. It's the recommended method in my opinion. So once you have that selected, go ahead and give your conversion name. I'll just go ahead and call this form submission to keep it very basic and press use event. Once you have your name in place, you can go ahead and press save and continue. And then right here, we can see we have actually gone ahead and created our conversion action on Google successfully. And now we just have to go ahead and connect it using Google Tag Manager. So to do that, we can just scroll down over here to where it says use Google Tag Manager. And then right here, we have our conversion ID and our conversion label, both of which we need. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to our Google Tag Manager account, which is right here. I'm assuming everybody watching this video already has Google Tag Manager properly installed on their website. So once you're in your Google Tag Manager dashboard, go to your tags option on the left. And then just go ahead and select this new option to create a new tag. So we're going to go ahead and give our new tag a name. I'll just go ahead and call this Google Ads Conversion Tracking. Once we have our tag name in place, we can go ahead and select it and we can choose Google Ads Conversion Tracking is what we want to track. Okay, so once we have that done, we're directed over here where we can go ahead and put in our conversion ID and label, which we talked about a second ago. But before we do that, we can see we have this message which says conversion linker tag missing in container. Now, if this is your first time trying to link your Google Ads account to your Google Tag Manager account, you basically can only do this through a conversion linker tag. And to set this up, it's a very straightforward process. You can just press the create option over here. Give the tag a name. I'll just call this conversion linker Google tags. Once you have your name in place, over here to where it says firing trigger, just press this pencil icon, remove all pages, and instead go ahead and select initialization of all pages. Okay, so that's the trigger we want. And once you have all of these settings, you can go ahead and press save. And we have successfully now linked both of these platforms together using our conversion linker tag. The next step over here is to put in our conversion ID and label, which we saw a second ago in our ads manager. So simply go ahead and copy and paste it. And basically over here, you're telling Tag Manager that this is the conversion we want to track. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this information in here. And once you have that information in here, you can go ahead and skip conversion value, transaction ID and currency code for now. It's not necessarily needed. It's just a nice to have. 
And then over here, you have some of these options. For example, it says include user provided data from your website. If you go ahead and select it, you're basically creating new variables, which will basically allow you to track enhanced conversions. So if you want more details about your conversion of who exactly converted, how they converted, what their names are, you can go ahead and set that up using enhanced conversions, which is a bit more complicated as it requires variables. And I won't cover in this beginner friendly tutorial, but I will make a video about this separately if people want me to. So I'm going to go ahead and skip this for now. But right now with just this information, you can perfectly and properly track conversions, just not as detailed as enhanced conversions. So once you have this option in place, we can now go to our triggering option right here and set up our trigger for our tag. So once again, just go ahead and press the plus option on the right to set it up. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and set it up. And over here, you can go ahead and give your trigger a name. So I'm just going to go ahead and call this trigger form submit website. And once you have your name in place, you can go ahead and press the trigger configuration and then choose the different trigger types. Now for me guys, I'm just going to go ahead and use actually the page view trigger type because basically I want to trigger my forms on a thank you page that anytime this form is submitted. So I'm going to go ahead and choose page view, some page views, and then right here, I'm going to choose page URL and then just go ahead and paste in the page URL that I want, which is this URL right here. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy it and then put in this URL. So basically what I've told Tag Manager is that anytime somebody comes onto this particular page, which is a unique page for this form, I want this to be considered as a successful completion of the form. So once you have your trigger in place, you can press the save option. And now we've basically created our tag. We've created our trigger, which is all over here. And we can just go ahead and press the save option. And now we can see right here, all of the information is again here, our conversion linker, our conversion ad tracking, and our trigger right here, which is our form submit website. Okay, so that's all good to go. Once we have all of this information, we can go ahead and press the preview option to actually test it to see if we've set this up properly. So go ahead and set the preview option, press the connect right here. And this will basically allow your website to be connected to the tag assistant where you can test it out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and scroll down to the very bottom of my website and put in my email once again into this form. Once it's completed, I can go ahead and press the send option, which once again will take me to my form submission page, AKA my thank you page. And now I can go ahead and press the finish option to see exactly what happened. Okay, so let me just go ahead and press continue. So we can see right here, tags fired. We had our conversion linker fire. We had our Google ads conversion tracking fire successfully. So the tags are firing as intended. Okay, so that's really good. If I go ahead and select this option right here, which is basically my Google ads tag, here, once again, we can see our conversion is firing. So that's good. And now everything is firing as intended. So that's basically how you can go ahead and set up your conversion tracking for Google ads. I hope you found this video educational. If you did, then go ahead and press the like button and share it with your friends. And if you're interested in more content like this, and maybe you want to see me make videos on enhanced conversions, then let me know, subscribe to the channel, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now, everyone.